Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is a review of the Parrot Mini Drone, the Airborne Knight McLean. Now, the Airborne Knight McLean is a, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it comes with all kinds of stickers on here. I threw on police stickers on the front of this and on, the, on there. But what is special about it is, is its sensors. It has both optical flow sensor and acoustic sensor. Now, the uh, Parrot Mini Drones have been out for a while and they've had these sensors I think since 2015. They were one of the first of the, the toy grade quadcopters to get those type of sensors. But because of that, they were rather very expensive when they first came out. Now they're appearing on all the Chinese websites, so uh, you're, the, the cost of these is starting to drop significantly. So uh, they're becoming more affordable for the average person. So that's why I'm reviewing it. Uh, but the McLean, again, has both acoustic sensor. Now this controls its altitude. It does not have barometer hold. It has acoustic uh, altitude hold. It's sending a sonar signal down the ground, bouncing off, receiving it, and using that to adjust its altitude. And again, it has this optical position hold sensor to maintain its position under the ground. Now, I saved this, these, I actually got two different uh, pair of mini drones I'm going to review today, but I've been saving them for a somewhat breezy day. <laughs> we do have wind today, <clears throat> but uh, five mile per hour steady breeze, just to demonstrate the position hold of these quadcopters uh, that they are able to fight the wind. Now, I am keeping, well, maybe I should remove this prop guards because of the wind. I'm going to remove the prop guards. Normally, I fly this with the prop guards on, but they do come off rather easily. You just pop them off. They're just clipped on by clips around the motors. So let's remove that because of the wind, because these are going to degrade performance today with them on. Okay, I removed them because of the wind. Um, what's special about, other special about the McLean Airborne Knight is it has a, a very bright LEDs that are controlled. You can, they have different scan patterns that, uh, you know, they'll, they'll in, increase in intensity gradually and decrease in intensity. Or intensity. And they also got blinking. Uh, I don't recommend that because that one gives me a headache <laughs> looking at that. But again, this extremely bright LEDs on the front. That's, that's why they call it the Airborne Night. You can fly this around in the dark in your house because <laughs> you can see it very easily because of those LEDs. Uh, the battery on this is, I believe it's 500 milliamp per hour. Let me double check that. 550 milliamp per hour, 3.7 volt. Proprietary, of course. <laughs> You're going to have to buy extra Parrot Mini Drone batteries. But it is charged via micro USB port on the back of this. One other thing about the quadcopter, it's controlled via your phone using Bluetooth. This is one of the few quadcopters I've seen that is controlled using Bluetooth. Because of that, the range of this is not very far. You know, we're talking about 10, 20 meters. So this is a, a close-in flyer primarily, an indoor flyer primarily, although I'm going to demonstrate that you can fly it outdoors. So let's go for a fly this thing and I'll demonstrate its app. So the first thing we want to do is plug in its battery and make sure it's turning on. Right now we got orange and blinking green, which means it's searching for my Bluetooth, or sending out a Bluetooth signal. I'm going to need to open up my phone and connect it to it using Bluetooth. Turn on Bluetooth. To connect the Bluetooth, you're going to need to turn your Bluetooth on, and then you're also going to need to turn the McLean on. And there's this on button right there, and its lights will start blinking first orange as it's coming on, then blinking green as it's pairing to the phone on, via Bluetooth. And then you put that on the ground there and open up the app which is Free Flight, Free Flight Mini, available on Google Play and iTunes. Let me make sure that we are connecting to the drone. Give it some time to connect. And we are connected. And also I'm going to turn on um, <laughs> Mobizen. So we're connected. So again, you, you press that button to initialize it and then uh, open up the app and it will automatically connect to it. Now, we are flying the McLean. There are others. The Mambo is available. In the, well, it's not available right now because it's turned off. But we are going to hit start. Hit the start button. And it, we don't have the hull attached today. I took it off. Now, there is one way of taking... You can actually launch this by hand. And I'm going to demonstrate that first off. You press... See that hand up in the upper center? Press that button there and the motors will start to spin a little bit. And you just toss it up. And it will start flying. 
pretty neat, huh? And notice, we got this wind here. This thing's holding its position, doing a dang good job of it. So, I'm gonna land it real quick again, and we're gonna do something else. Okay, I'm moving over here to the center of the field. The reason being, I wanna try these other features on this. Um, we're gonna hit the automatic takeoff, or the hand takeoff again, hand launching it. Motors are starting, tossing it. Let it get its position. Now, in the upper right corner here, let me make sure Mob is in the recording so you can see this. Upper right side, there's this selection of the different things that this can do. First off, there's flip. You hit the flip button, and it'll do a flip. Then B, back flip. Then L, left flip. Then R, right flip. So it can do flips <laughs> with this feature. Now let's show you its camera, or not camera, its lights. Coming around here, it's falling my, look at that, <laughs> it's falling my shadow. <laughs> let's come down a little lower, descending in altitude. And look at those lights up close here. Now, it has different features of the lights. They'll blink, and they'll also strobe, or that was strobe, actually, though, this one's a slower strobe. I'm bringing it down a little lower so you can see this. Or you can put them on full beam like that. But to save battery, I am going to turn off the lights. Lights off. There we go. Now, there's different modes of flight. Watch this. See my shadow on the ground? Watch what happens. It's going to follow my shadow. <laughs> it's my shadow go this way. It's following my shadow. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Okay, let's come down a little lower. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get my shadow out from under it. So we're going to go back behind it here. Now, Hitting the gear button in the upper left, that's the settings button. We can select different flight modes. Normal, normal flight mode, let's select that and go back. Provides G sensor control. If you press down on the center of the pad and push forward or backward with your phone, it's using G sensor control. Now, I'm not a fan of G sensor control before this right now. Hold on. Hitting that settings button, we are going to select ace mode. Now, what's special about ace mode? Let me get my shadow out from under it. Hitting return. Ace mode is not really an ace mode or an expert mode. All it does is if you, in the right corner here, the right pad, uh, it does 90 degree turns and 180 degree turns if you tell it to. So 90 degree, that's 180. If you go up or down on the right stick, it does 180 degree turns. Or if you go right or left on the right stick, it does 90 degree turns. Okay, so that's not nothing special. So going back to settings, and now I'm going to select normal joypad mode, and that is normal joystick, uh, pitch and roll, and throttle and yaw. Now, this will also take a photo. So we're gonna send it up higher. It takes a photo using that little sensor beneath it. Let's go up a little bit higher. Actually, let's go a lot higher, right about there. I'm gonna get underneath it. Actually, I'm gonna pull it, fly it back over me. Try to get underneath it and hit, take a photo. <laughs> so I took some photos. It, it is looking directly downward. My battery power is about half right now. So it's got a, it's quite a bit of a good flight time. So, you know, this is more or less a beginner's quadcopter. It's following my shadow again. <laughs> now, it does have a camera mode, but all the camera mode does is use the camera from your phone to take a video of it. So I'm using the camera from my phone because you can actually see it, see it on your camera or on your phone while you're flying it. So let's turn off that video. Nothing special there. But again, this is mainly a beginner's drone. Um, look at how that acoustic sensor is working <laughs> with the wind 
blowing, bouncing off the grass. It's having a hard time right now maintaining altitude. Let's go up a little bit higher. Maybe that'll help it. And let's go over here. And we're going to select a higher flight right now. Um, going back to joypad control and max vertical speed. Uh, we'll leave that fine. Max tilt. Let's increase that. This is increasing its rate. So going back. Now let's let's fly it around now using the joypads only. Letting go. Will it go into the tree? Backing it off. <laughs> it slowed down there. Bringing it back toward me. And will it stop? Hold its position. Let's come down a little lower too. To help it hold its position so it sees the ground a little bit better. There you go. Almost went to that tree, folks. That wouldn't have been nice. We're down to two bars now. Turning it to the right. And going out. So interesting little beginner's quadcopter for those who want something like GPS. It's like kind of like GPS. It's position hold is holding it, holding it very well actually. Um, but uh, don't want to spend the big bucks for a GPS quadcopter. So and it's something that you can fly around like GPS indoors. This works actually very well in the house, uh, especially except if you got a shag carpet. It might be you know it's. Um, might have a little problem with the altitude hold on shag carpet because that kind of absorbs the sound. One other thing, let's see, bring it down a little lower. I want to show you this right there. Get my hand under it again. You can, it, it'll follow your hand like the CXOF, kind of like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> interesting toy. I'm just flying it until its battery goes out. Uh, there we go, there's its battery. So let's do a landing. So, and that's that folks. Let me turn off my Mobazin and close this app too. So it'll stop its beeping here. So that's the parrot, uh, McLean. Named after John McLean from the famous Die Hard series. No, <laughs> I don't know why they called it McLean. So hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.